vulnerability. There's this big push out there by some dating coaches telling you that you should be vulnerable. Women will tell you that they want a man who's more vulnerable, who's in touch with his feelings, who can open up and share with them how they feel. And then what happens when the man does that with his woman? She gets turned off. She doesn't really want that. She thinks she does because that's her motherly instinct. But when the man does it, she's like cringing. She doesn't really know why. But it's weakness for a man to cry in front of a woman, unless she is your mother. You might get by with shedding a tear if your mom or your dad died, but to cry in her arms or to cry to her like you would your mama turns her off and dries her up. Her love evaporates for you each time you do that. Now this is contrary to what a lot of people are telling you to do, but it doesn't work. Maybe you've done that. Maybe you think if she just knew how much you cared for her after you guys have split up or maybe things aren't going good or you think she's limiting the time she wants to spend with you. So you think if you just show her how much you care about her, how emotionally attached you are to her, that she will hold you in her arms and say, oh, I just didn't know how much I meant to you and you mean so much to me. We actually do to people what the, we want them to do back to us. And we think if we treat them this certain way, if we show them how much they mean to us, then they're going to return that to us. And it doesn't work that way, especially with women. Now, am I telling you to be so stoic that you're like a rock? No. If you feel like crying about your girlfriend, do it alone or do it with your mentor or your best friend or maybe your mother or father, but don't take your mother's advice. She'll probably tell you to go tell her how you feel. It doesn't work that way. Your woman doesn't want to know how you feel all the time, even if she's trying to get you to open up more. One of my sons is dating a girl and she was telling him the other day, you need to open up more. Why don't you share your feelings with me? And he was telling her, I don't do that. Yeah, he does share his feelings with his brothers, with his father, not with his mother because she's been gone a long time. But this girl doesn't realize what she's asking him to do. If he did it, it would turn her off. And I know if you, some of you women are listening to me, you may disagree with this, but this is just the way it is. We are genetically designed that way. A woman needs a strong man. She needs someone to lean on during her emotional storms because her emotions go up and they go down. She sometimes does, doesn't understand why she feels and acts certain ways, especially during her menstrual cycle. Does that make them weak? No, it just makes them different. There are certain things women can do that us men can't do, and certain things men can do that women can't do. We are not the same. We are not equal in many aspects. Doesn't mean one's better than the other. We're just not the same. So don't treat your woman the way you want to be treated. Treat her the way she wants to be treated. And if you don't know how that is, find a mentor. Find a man that knows women. As best as a man can know women because you will never really know something until you experience it. And none of us men are ever going to experience actually being a woman. But find a man who has been around with a lot of women. He's had long-term relationships. He's dated. He's slept around. And talk with him. Let him share his experience with you so you can learn from his mistakes and his successes.